Hey, Hot Garbage Squad, you see right here at top left, it's Sunday, 2046. It means arena closes in roughly 1 hour and 14 minutes. This is not an arena rush video, however, it's still going to be about arena. I'm not doing arena just because I simply don't feel like it, and I really want to make a video about it, um, but I'm not really passionate about it this week. So, I am 1528, and today's topic is going to be about my arena defense. So right now I have a 77.7% win rate with this arena defense and I'll explain to you why I think it works and why the strategy can be viable at different ranks and I'll tell you how you can incorporate it into your own gameplay, okay? And first thought you're probably having is, well, you got OP runes, your G3, I mean, you're, you're, you're Conqueror 1. Right? Yeah, it, it makes sense. That 100% makes sense. I'm not going to deny that. But a lot of people do not do arena anymore simply because there is really no incentive for you to reach, let's say, G1 or G2 or G3. Because do we really want a crow for the reward? No. Rush hour is 12 a.m. Eastern to 1 a.m. Eastern. So a lot of people who are on the East Coast probably don't play it at all as well. And people, in the, people, if you live around the world, you might play it, you might not, right? So my defense is very successful in baiting people to hit me because it looks very free, right? It looks like, oh, I can, this is just a tank sustain team. I can double Lucian, I can Tiana, Pung Beckett, whatever, right? But it looks very bait. And for all you people who are trying to reach Conquer 1, and you see people like me here with this, with this random tank defense, think twice, should you hit them? Because 77.7% win rate, and I'll show you quickly what um, the runes are, but also my defense log, so you kind of see throughout the week what has happened, right? Look at this. A bunch of defense wins, and keep in mind, this is week one. So when I say it's week one, Arena has two weeks. Week one is where the points are reset. And you can tell they reset because the number one person is 2,000, right? And week two, they're generally above that, around like 22, 2300 mark. So then you know this is week one. And when it's week one, the points are a lot closer. And you can tell right here, I did about 20 wings this week and I lost one. So I didn't climb all that much. Most of my wins or most of my points were from defense. So I went from like fighter one to 1500 and I didn't have to do that many wings. Fantastic for me. I got a little bit more crystals, right? Anyways, I went a little tangent there. What I wanted to say is my, why, how this defense kind of works, all right? So with the resurgence of stall teams, Camilla, Ariel's, Molly, really big Molly, you see some Abellios, you definitely see some Louises, like all very strong tank stall type defenses. And Wind Monkey because of leader skill. Pumbek Zyros has been a very um, old school AO. And when Triton came into the meta, it kind of faded away because Tiana couldn't really deal with that. But after people started figuring out Triton teams, people started to like, go back to stall defenses. So here are the runes on my team here. This Wind Monkey. If I were to build this properly, it'd be like HP, crit damage, HP. But it has a speed for um, arena, for, for my guild siege. But if you want, you can build this a triple HP if you wanted to. It's really for his HP lead and there's revenge and the stall. Like this passive right here, decrease the incoming damage by 35%. Like that's pretty huge. So if you try to pung back it, reduce damage. This is the Miho. The Miho has very, very good synergy with Abelio because in arena, they're gonna crit you more often than not, right? And when you get crit and you're one, one HP and you still live because of this Miho's passive, your Abelio kicks in. So for you guys who are wondering, how do I build my Abelio? I suggest you build it on triple HP and I would put it on Will. Uh, you really don't need the Nemesis because of this passive here, because once you use Miho or any squishy unit that takes damage and it goes below a certain amount, it's going to kick in right here, right? Increases your attack bar by 100% if an ally's HP falls below 30%. So the Miho kicks this passive in for you to use this skill. So Miho and the Belio has some really good synergy. And the last stall unit is going to be this disgusting Camilla. So with Camilla, with the artifact, you will see that I have skill 3 recovery, 13%. Pretty disgusting. And I have a little bit more damage here as well. So Camilla... 
I would build your Camilla guys on triple HP if possible. But if, you, if you're really premium, you're going to build like me. HP, crit damage, HP here. The blade is definitely fantastic for the extra crit rate. But you notice my crit damage is not very high. It's the defense and the HP here that's really good. So if you guys want to build a very similar type of defense, you know, I can show you some stall defenses. I don't own a Molly, but keep in mind, you can, you can kind of toss a Molly in any situation. Like Vanessa, Triton, Molly. Boom. Like, can you cleave that because there's a Molly? I don't know, right? But for you guys who kind of don't have any speed leads or no Triton defenses, some variations that you can use is if you don't have a Camilla, you toss in Arena. And the Arena works well because Arena is a very stall like monster. But keep in mind, if you put arena in you're not gonna have any kill potential okay like this passive here is really really good you're not gonna have any kill potential but if, you, if they take you if it takes forever for them to kill you and you heal back with your belio fantastic right if you don't have an abelio you're probably dropping something that looks like this aerial here okay and if you don't have a wind monkey you might even do that right like this and then you take the miho out so like, like if you don't like this, this recipe here is super good because HP lead for this. And if you're like really, really premium, you may even do this, right? Like you got tons of HP for your, for your um, Camilla. You're asking to get double Lucian. You're asking to get fat Lucian. But if you can just bait them on a build that lets you heal back up and survive, they're either going to lose or it's going to take forever for them to clear it, right? So when you have a stall defense, don't expect to win unless you have some like god tier runes and you're camping lower ranks because you don't do arena because it's boring like me okay so another variation that you can do is i see people do this okay like i honestly see people toss in this unit here and it is the triana okay when you toss in the triana what does tri what does triana do her purpose is to save a monster from dying I don't think any of these units are going to die. So typically when I see someone put a Trion on defense, it's not really going to save you, right? Like you can probably get Zaros reset, you get Fat Lucian, you get Double Lucian, and then the Lucian multiple hits gets through the Amputation Magic. The Amputation Magic gets through the multi-hits that stop the pass of a Trion and she dies anyways, right? Also, I see some people do this, all right? It's pretty common in the fighter ranks, all right? They put in a gene lead, all right? I don't really understand why people, some people do something like this. Triana is not going to save any of these units because this is going to live. This is going to live. This is probably going to die. Maybe maybe saves this, right? But then at the end of the day, what does this defense stop you? It doesn't stop anything. It doesn't stop double Lucians. It stops fat Lucian, but maybe a little bit slower, but you're not going to win against it. It definitely doesn't stop Zaros or Pumbek, right? It doesn't counter any of these meta defenses like resistance lead yeah you might resist a zyros but you just have a triana uh another one is you put a vanessa in right I see, I see this sometimes as well vanessa triana vanessa triana definitely very good for stall like defenses but in the day none of these are gonna heal your team back up you don't have the heal potential like an aerial in a belio or a praha right the triana saves your team and then does like a mini heal but it doesn't really bring your team back to really healthy stages right another really popular team and why it works for stall is well it, it works like this okay we have the wind monkey and it is definitely really premium because it requires nat fives there's by no means i'm gonna say this is free to play because you can be free to play and own these units right definitely can own these units and get lucky so the last unit here is going to be a Juno, okay? And I'll explain to you why the Juno works. So in this scenario, I was talking about AD and offenses. Common ones are Double Lucian, Fat Lucian, Zaros, Pumbek. How do you Zaros, Pumbek this? You Galleon skill two, right? I, I can just show you, right? So you can Galleon skill two, or sorry, skill three, and then you Zaros AoE reset here, okay? So you do this, and then first you go through a resistance check, all right? You go through a resistance check, fantastic. And now you do AoE. If the Miho has good AI or some random RNG because you're bad luck, the Miho will just revenge with attack bar increase onto the Pungbek. If the Juno's on Nemesis, it's gonna cut in and possibly stun your Pumbek. As you saw, we have two win units, and instead it stunned my my, my Tiana. 
So here is the question. I cannot pump back the uh, can, I cannot pump back the Miho of obvious reasons because crit rate. I cannot pump back the Camilla because I can't possibly kill it with her passive and she's really tanky too. And if Juno had defense break because it didn't cut in, I had to crit it. So that leaves me to hit the Monkey King, which is pretty beefy and has reduced damage. So if you don't kill it, then you are basically donezo. Do you see how this team works? It counters one of the most common ADs out there, right? I mean, AOs out there. Will it counter double Lucian? Uh, possibly. I don't know if I have mine built, but I definitely have my fat Lucian team built. So this is my fat Lucian, and we can see how much damage we can do to it and how it counters a fat Lucian because it's just super thick, right? The thicker your Juno is, the chances of it dying to fat Lucian crits definitely a little bit lower. So... Like you see right here, like what is the Fat Lucian gonna do? And like, pro, I mean, Juno cuts in and we have no attack off on the Alicia. And what can we possibly do here? I cannot use skill three because I won't kill anything. So I'm forced to use skill two. And what do I kill? Nothing, because Alicia's skill two scales off enemy speed. And this team is 100% not that fast, right? Which leads you to double Lucian it, or you take a risk with the pump deck. So I hope this video um, gave you gave you guys some idea ideas in terms of what stall defense to run, but I think the worst variation that I see is the Vanessa Triana Gene type of thing because they're they're all like they're all like, they're not all fusible, but they're definitely like Triana obtainable, Gene obtainable. Vanessa is definitely the premium one. Sometimes I see a Skogol in and it just kind of dies too, right? So for all you guys out there that are looking. For to make um, a stall type defenses. I'd suggest in terms of like fire threats, what is really good is the Harmonia is pretty good at stall. The fire mummy definitely pretty good at stall because now with the artifact with the reflect damage, I think he killed, I think has potential to do a little more damage, but definitely very free to play option. Um, Rakan a little bit more premium, but it's really in the water units with the Ariel, Abil Ab Abelio and Camilla. And also uh, the free to play side with the arena. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for this video. Again, my defense was this. And I'll show you the runes again and the artifacts. I'll show you the artifacts this time as well. So that way you can kind of see what I'm working with. I don't think the artifacts are great by any means. Um, I definitely have life drain, but farming some artifacts, a little bit difficult here, okay? Here are the artifacts. The Abelio. My Abelio has skill 3 recovery. And I have skill 4 crit damage. Yikes. Anyways. If I had this artifact, it'd be like take less damage from wind. Um, but I don't. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And see you in the next video. Maybe it'll be a rush hour.